What's going on everybody? Figured we do a local adventure today. Today we're here at the Hudson Valley Balloon Festival. Let's go inside, check it out. Okay, we're heading out inside the big barn here. Got my uh, balloon festival tickets and then if you're under 16, you get one of these too. You get a little game card. Free eight games, that's kind of cool. So Bella gets to play some games. That's uh, kind of neat. Get the tickets to give them back away. <laughs> All right, so we got a bunch of things to do. What kind of events do they have here, Jenna? All kinds of games. Hot air balloon walkouts, I don't know if that is. There's magic shows. Ooh, magic. There's lots of I know magic. You're the scout, you're the scout. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, cool. Look, there's a clown. We need split one after the show. A lot of water today. Not so much soda. Of course, they got all the vendors here selling all the hot air balloon things back here. This is going to be the big thing here is food, man. I know I know somebody back here is hungry. They have tacos. You want tacos? Ooh, tacos. I don't know. I'm not in the mood to eat yet. I need to see what they have first. This guy over here is guaranteeing the best chicken fingers. Does that mean you get your money back if they're not the best? And these guys right over here have Italian ice. And uh, I don't know, would, would Disney sanction that Mickey Mouse? Is that okay? Yeah. Oh wow, look at that apple cider slushies. I actually just tried one of those at Knobles. They're actually really good. I love how they have all these food trucks here. Look at this. Gorilla cheese, New York City grilled cheese truck. That's awesome. It's kind of set up like the fair here. Not as many food vendors, but it, it goes down that same route, which is awesome. I always love these guys, the gyros. Every time I go to the fair, I gotta get one of these gyros. I think we're gonna try to do something different today. Of course, they got kettle corn back here. What else we got? Lemonade. We'll be definitely getting some of that today. Some ice cream, maybe some Italian ice. Is that, is that Cuban food, baby? Oh man, look at these pickles. Germ loves pickles. Alright, here we go. These are the half sour pickles. Just one quart? Oh, they're good because they're so cold. It's one of the best. Okay, so we're gonna get a couple pickles here. We're gonna get a half sour for Bella and a garlic dill for myself. Not a bad price either. Look at that. Pickle on a stick. Two for five bucks. And that's, that's kind of what you get there. Half sour and garlic dill coming up. Half come. sour. That's a half that. sour. There we Ice go. Ice cold, crunchy. There you go. There's your half sour. Okay. And oh, look at that. Awesome. Now, are, are these uh, gluten free, vegan, vegan uh, pickles? Oh, perfect. Non GMO, awesome. baby. Beautiful. Do I have a sheet? What's that? No MSG. No either. MSG. Either. Perfect. No HBO either. Good stuff. Oh, they're good, man. Taste the crunch. All right, beautiful. Thank you. Pickles, no joke. Oh, you're good. Guy gave me the extra one. I don't know. I don't know why. Maybe because I was recording them, but they're good. They're honestly good. Mmm. And Bella's also here. Bella, what did you think of the pickle? Nice. Oh man. My daughter takes after me. They got beef jerky, macaroni and cheese back here, what? Italian meatballs. What else we got? Oh, there's the jerky guy, the jerky hut. I've had these guys before. This stuff, good. Good stuff. Then they got the carnival vendors. And then over here on the other side, they got some other stuff over here. They got meat toast, whatever that is. We don't know what that is back here. They got, oh, La Bella. And uh, Wild Bills. It looks like uh, root beer and birch beer. All right, Bella's going with the uh, Butcher Boys. These guys are the best. A local crew. Thank you. <laughs> We're gonna get the uh, shish kebabs. We just put on a fresh chicken one for her. There it is right there, freshly cooked. Oh yeah, look at that. And you got an extra piece here. It's unattached, so be careful. Yum. All right, guys, I think I've decided on what I'm gonna eat. Anyone remember this truck? This was on Shark Tank. Uh, two cousins from Maine started this. It made a franchise out of it. Barbara from the uh, show Shark Tank bought into it. This is what we're gonna get. We're gonna get some lobster rolls. Let's see what's on the menu. You got the Maine lobster roll, served with the touch, uh, chilled touch of mayo, New England style roll. You got the Connecticut, the Maine lobster served with the warm 
uh, served warm with butter and lemon New England style roll. And then you got lobster tots, lobster tacos, shrimp tacos, lobster tail and tots, lobster quesadilla. And look at that. They actually got gluten free things. It's kind of cool. No, it's for you. All right, guys, gonna order it up. Got my 20 bucks. And the gentleman recommends which one? Connecticut lobster the roll. Connecticut lobster roll. It's a warm lobster roll with lemon butter on top. Oh, that sounds good. All right, we're gonna go with that. One Connecticut lobster roll coming up. Beautiful. All right, this is a new one for me. <laughs> I'm at the fair grounds and you got a, uh, a buzzer for your food. So uh, they're definitely taking the time to prepare this stuff. So I'm gonna go sit down, wait for my food, and uh, hopefully I'll be enjoying it in a matter of minutes. Oh boy, Jenna's already got her food though. Yeah. Jenna, what? What is it that you got? It's an American flag sandwich, it looks like. No, that's just like a piece of toast that came with it. I got chicken fingers and fries. Chicken fingers and fries. America. What, uh, are they the best chicken fingers you ever had as they, they said that? They're pretty good. Yeah. Let's just take a bite. It's not like we're filming or anything. <laughs> America. That was super quick. Let's go get some lobster. Oh man, let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, look at that. All right, everyone. This is what twenty dollars worth of lobster looks like. Seriously? Yep. It's expensive lobster. Let's give it a shot. It's on a warm, buttery roll. That's good. That's that. One hundred percent real lobster. Look at that. I'm gonna still be hungry after this one. All right, lobster roll. It was good. It was good. Gives the germ seal of approval. A little on the smaller side, but lobster is very expensive, so I can kind of understand that. But I'm not hungry, so that's a good thing. So we got some good news here. Been waiting for this to happen. Big milestone for the germ. I know it's not that big of a deal, but I don't know if you guys can even see it. Hit 1,500 subscribers, so that's uh, pretty cool, man. I appreciate that, guys. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Um, it's a lot of hard work, you know, and you know, I know my channel's monetized, but I don't actually get paid for it. I actually do this for free. I do it for fun and to show you guys what I'm doing and uh, to show you some fun things when you guys go places. So uh, thank you for the 1,500 subs. I appreciate it. Okay, there's some kind of lobster man or uh, crawfish guy. Off the hook, right on the other side here. He's selling donuts, though, now. No, I'm selling donuts, but if you eat the donuts, <laughs> and then you come over for the lobster roll and that's dessert. Got it. Perfect. Thanks, man. You know, of course, you guys live all over the country. You know, I got, uh, I know I got followers in, uh, you know, Florida, all the way to California. And, uh, you know, something cool that me and Bella did, you know, yesterday was we noticed there's a lot of fireflies outside. And we did something that I haven't done in a long time. She came up with an idea to catch fireflies. So I was like, that's pretty cool. So we went out and actually went and caught fireflies last night. And I told her for every firefly she catches, I'll give her a dollar. So she caught five fireflies, so I gave her five bucks. So she's gonna spend that five dollars today here at the Balloon Festival on, I think, out of all things, beef jerky. Now they get some games going. No pressure, buddy. All right, here he goes. Oh boy. No pressure at all, pal. Oh my god, this guy. We'll, we'll edit it for you, make you look good. Yeah, there's there's gonna be no editing for him. He's just terrible. This is pretty neat. So, when we walked in, Bella got this little card and she gets to play games and they got all kinds of cool little games and you didn't have to pay for this. It was included with admission. I'm not sure if there's any prizes, but it's still kind of cool. It's not many times that you get to play like kind of carnival games and uh, get to play for free. Bella's decided to do this uh, obstacle course over here. Bella, you, okay. Bella's gonna take you guys through. <laughs> now you also have the old Rhinebeck Aerodrome right down the road here. Right there, it's very sunny out. I don't know if you guys can see it, but uh, there's one of their cool old biplanes. Complimentary field games, look at this. Look how awesome. I've never seen something like this. They have a little miniature golf and things. Jenna and I are gonna play cornhole. Jenna, carry your bags. 
Who's gonna win? There she goes. Oh my god. Yeah, you're supposed to be. Yeah, that's no good. Alright guys, let's, let's show you how this is done. Swish! <laughs> you know, I'm not sure what she's aiming at. How do you feel realizing the score is 4 to nothing? It's going to be the most epic comeback ever. One more point. Sure wins. Oh my god. Five nothing. You know, I rock at that game at Dave and Buster's. It's like a game where you throw these beanbag things, so that's why. <laughs> I always hit the bonus on that game. <laughs> Jenna says she can beat me at Connect Four. I have my doubts. Alright, I got, what's that called? Cornhole? Yeah. Cornhole, I destroyed you. Connect 4, you got me. We're going to have to come back and uh, play the deciding game. We'll have to agree on what game it would be. We don't want to do a mini golf because you know, you know I would win at that. I won the last two times we played mini golf. Can jam? I don't even know what that is. There's kind of a lack of balloons here. I guess they're gonna be going up later when we're not we're not gonna be here. But here's here's a balloon deflated. They got a giant fan there. It's a very big balloon. You know what? These these always do look cool when they're blown up, and when they're in the sky, they look even cooler. I love when they uh, light up with the flame. That's they're insane. Things. Hopefully, get to see at least one leader. And that's exactly what he would do. He would show them that there's a board with one die here, four here, three here, six here, and one here. And nobody could figure it out. Until one guy came into his office. He was a magician from Chicago, figured out how the trick was done. You guys see this dot right here? You cover up the dot. You cover up a certain side of the board, and it creates the illusion of a certain number on each side. So if I cover up this dot right here and I tell you that there's only one dot on the side of the board, it's because it creates the illusion of one dot when there are really two, right? See this dot right here? If I were to cover up this dot and I tell you that there are really four, it's because you're thinking that you're only seeing four. You don't realize that I'm covering one up with my hand. So I want you to think that there are four when there are really five. Same thing here. If you cover up this empty space right here and don't tell them that there's an empty space right there, if you say three, subconsciously they think you're just covering a dot with your hand and that looks like there are three when there are really two. You know, like I was pretty good, but you know, the germ does a bit of magic itself. Watch this, see that? Watch this. You guys aren't gonna believe this. This does hurt a little bit. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Pretty good, right? I know how it works. <laughs> And I got a lemonade, strawberry lemonade, right? And uh, Bella got an apple cider slush. Oh, Ooh, that's good. Tastes just like the one at Knobles. The uh, it tastes like really cold applesauce. It's actually really good. Snack time. It's like 90 degrees out. Great boys. Four bucks. Guy put an extra scoop on. He's trying to get rid of it because he doesn't want to take it home. I'm guessing it might melt. It's good, especially on a day like today. It is so hot. We're doing our best of three game. There's three garbage cans over here. 
Jenna's got three garbage cans on her side, and uh, we have volleyball. So I'm guessing the object of this game, it's kind of like American Gladiators, where you gotta like run and, no, I'm just kidding, and try to get the ball in the thing. You guys remember that? No, I think, I think that what you have to do is, is score the ball from all, there, all the way over there, or all the way over here, to all the way to the other side. We're gonna see who wins this. Let's do this. Turns out that it actually wasn't a game. This is just where the fairgrounds is keeping the trash cans. All right, you won. I have nothing to say. I can still kill you at cornhole. But that, I won the other two games. And that's what really counts. All right, we're at the uh, prize tent for Bella doing the games. What are you getting? Getting a little pig. Get a free prize. Hey, a little giraffes and donkeys. Whatever that is. Looks like boxes of cranes. Check this out. One of my favorite things in the whole world. Hudson Valley Fresh Chocolate Milk. These guys are the best. If you're ever in the Hudson Valley, this is the stuff you gotta check. You get it first off. This is the stuff you have to check out. This stuff is so good. It's like a milkshake. Stuff so strong they only give out a shot. Right, thank you. Oh, it's so good. Love that stuff. All right, check this out. One of the vendors here is U-Haul, believe it or not, and you get to drive <laughs> the treadmill. So when you're towing a trailer, you need to make sure all the weight's up front, or at least balance, because if it's not, you know it's going 30 miles an hour, -ish. you put the weight on the back, go ahead and turn the wheel. Right. Try to turn the wheel a little bit. See how it's staying behind you? Oh my god. Alright, Jenna. 2019 Hudson Valley Balloon Festival. Yay or nay? What do you think? Bust or a must? I've never been, so I don't have other use to compare it to. I thought it was cool. It's just really, really, really hot. So it's hard to enjoy all the games and stuff because it's so hot. Man, and, and all those balloons we saw, huh? Well, I was like, we're not here when all the balloons are out. So, I mean, it'd be better if we got to see the actual hot air balloons, but we couldn't be here for that. That's not the yeah. deal. So, here, here's the deal with the, the hot air balloons. You got to be here at like 5 in the morning, and that's your best chance of seeing one. They said that 27 of them went off this morning. 27 hot air balloons. That's pretty impressive. And then they're going to do another launch somewhere around 6 p.m. I know you really can't tell, but not right this exact second, but there's some wind. And the slightest amount of wind grounds the balloons, so that, that kind of stinks. So we're not we're not going to see any hot air balloons. It was more all about food vendors here and and food trucks and eating. I think they had a decent amount of food trucks. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Food. And the food was good. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Sorry I had no balloons to show you guys at the balloon festival. That's kind of weak, but uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the 1,500 subscribers. And I uh, love you guys. Please make sure you hit that like button, share, subscribe, and uh, comment below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, wait a minute. Here's here's all the hot air balloons. They're right, they're right over here. Oh, that's nice for like a gift.